Bakhmut remains the hot spot in the war between Ukraine and Russia. The head of Ukraine's armed forces described the situation in the city as difficult, although Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said intense fighting there is taking a big toll on Russia's forces. Zelensky said Sunday evening that since March 6, Ukraine's forces had managed to eliminate more than 1,100 enemy soldiers. The commander of Ukraine's ground forces Colonel General Oleksandr Siskia said Monday that Wagner's assault units are advancing from several directions, trying to break through the defenses of our troops and advance to the central districts of the city. According to the latest post on the Military Media Center, translated by Nk News. In other news, the Wagner Group has likely lost access to recruiting in Russian prisons because of ongoing disputes with the Russian Defense Ministry and could be pivoting recruitment efforts toward free Russian citizens, the UK said Monday. Since the start of March 2023, Wagner has set up outreach teams based in sports centers in at least 40 locations across Russia and has given careers talks in schools, Britain's Ministry of Defense noted in an intelligence update. Chinese President Xi Jinping is planning to travel to Russia's capital, Moscow, to meet his counterpart, Vladimir Putin, as soon as next week, people familiar with the matter said. China's foreign ministry did not immediately respond to a request for comment and the Kremlin declined to comment. No other details were immediately available. The sources briefed on the matter declined to be identified given the sensitivity of the issue. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said ongoing fighting in the besieged city of Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine is taking a big toll on Russia's forces. In his nightly address Sunday, Zelensky said that in less than one week, since March 6, in the Bakhmut sector alone, they managed to eliminate more than 1,100 enemy soldiers. He added that Russia had also seen 1,500 soldiers suffer wounds that would prevent them from fighting. In addition, dozens of units of Russian equipment were destroyed, Zelensky said, and more than 10 Russian ammunition depots were banned. Kink was not able to verify the claims. There have been questions over how long Ukraine could choose to defend Bakhmut, a city almost completely surrounded by Russian forces, with mercenary fighters from the Wagner Group advancing into parts of the city. Last week, Ukraine said it would continue to defend Bakhmut, however, and would send in reinforcements. The commander of Ukraine's ground forces Colonel General Oleksandr Suskia said Monday that, that the situation around Bakhmut remains difficult, noting that Wagner's assault units are advancing from several directions, trying to break through the defenses of our troops and advance to the central districts of the city, according to the latest post on the military media center, translated by Nk News. In the course of fierce battles, our defenders inflict significant losses on the enemy. All enemy attempts to capture the city are repelled by artillery, tanks, and other firepower, Suskia said, adding that the defense of the fortress continues.